Feather down puffer jackets cannot just be thrown into the washing machine um, as you would like a cotton or a polyester type jacket. You can put it in the washing machine, but you need to use some special products. I went back to the shop where I actually bought these from, and that was one of those type of adventure type stores that, you know, that will be adventure stuff. So I use this product here to clean our feather down puffer jackets. Nick Wax. So I used this Nick Wax Down Wash Direct Technical Cleaner for down gear. I know some people have these sorts of things and they just wear them and wear them and pop them back in the cupboard and um, years go by and they don't get an actual wash. And that's not going to be good for the actual insulation layers. Um, the oils and the sweats and the, um, the dirt does get into the actual feathered parts over time and that can affect its ability to actually insulate because of course all those oils and dirt and grime is going to weigh down all those feathers and sort of clog them together as opposed to um, allowing that puffer action to actually take place. Like everything, everything needs a clean. You can't avoid that. <laughs> you just have to look after your things, particularly your things that have cost you a lot of money. You can also use this type of a product for cleaning um, sleeping bags and things like that as well. On the back of the label here, it says to spin dry um, the jacket three times. So it really wants you to thoroughly get all that um, water out of it. Otherwise, what you can do is you can um, lay it flat on top of the towel and then roll and twist the towel and really try and absorb as much water out of it that way as well. It also says when it's drying that you've got to spend a bit of time teasing apart any of the lumps and clumps because um, you want to um, tend to it during, the wash, during that drying stage. So after removing all the excess water, the instructions actually recommend putting it in the dryer on a low heat setting and using those dryer balls or tennis balls, something like that, so that the jackets or the sleeping bag is being sort of bashed and crashed to help separate all those clumps of the feathers. Anyway, enough talking, let's go do it. The salesperson, when I bought this special technical cleaner that's specifically for down, actually advised me to put my washing machine on a drum clean prior to washing the jackets in order to get rid of all the excess detergent that's already um, built up within my washing machine. So I've done that, I've put it on the drum clean, which is generally just a really hot wash, which just gives, you know, it's really beneficial to the machine to do that on a regular basis anyhow. Give it a shake. It does say on the product to also remove the detergent from any buildup in the drawer, and that's something that I didn't do before. says a maximum of two items, um, which was obviously what I've got, two jackets, and two full caps, so about 100 mils. <clears throat> Low setting with slow spin. Slow spin. <laughs> not, uh, not fast spin. Slow spin. <clears throat> I don't know whether you can see that, but it's just a, a gooky kind of a milky looking substance. I've got it on delicates. And checking the spin cycle. The spin cycle here is on 600, so that's pretty slow. It's on delicates. It's on a 55 minute wash, so um, I'll just check the um, temperature of the water is on 20, so that's good too.
Off we go. It said to repeat the spin cycle on the jackets, but as it turns out, my washing machine actually doesn't just have a spin cycle. It has a rinse and spin cycle. So that's not really going to help get any excess washing, um, getting any excess water out. So I've got a towel here and I'm just going to roll the jackets in the towel. Now this is a clean towel because of course we've just cleaned the jackets. We want to make sure we use a clean towel. <clears throat> so it doesn't look too bad. It's had a good spin anyway. I just had it on um, the delicate wash. So I can't see any major clumps, but it is definitely still wet. So what I can do here, using this clean towel, Let's just really roll it up in here and twist it up and that will help to get rid of a little bit more of the actual water from the jacket before I go putting it in the dryer um, as it said on a um, cool setting in the dryer. And it also said to use these sorts of dryer balls to help sort of bang out the feathers in the jacket. So give that one a squeeze. Number one. I don't have a lot of room in here, as you can see. It's my husband's jacket. And that's definitely got an excess water out because that towel is actually quite damp now. I don't know whether you can see there, but I definitely did get extra water out of that by doing that method. The old squeeze and dry. The instructions did say that you can lay the jackets out flat on a table to dry if you don't have a dryer. Um, but definitely to make sure you go checking for any clumps as it's drying. But I guess the process of putting it in the dryer really puffs up all those feathers again separates all the little feathery bits and that's what gives it space to sort of activate <clears throat> the whole puffiness in the jacket. The insulating level. So, checked my um, lint, that's all good. Low setting and off we go. So I've just got done for about an hour and a half and then I'll check it. Oh, I forgot to put the bowls in. The there you go. So I've had these jackets hanging for um, overnight. I did have them in the dryer for some time um, yesterday afternoon, um, and one thing I noticed was that. Um, one of the balls had actually accidentally gotten stuck inside the actual sleeve and that turned out to be a really really good thing because having the ball stuck in there really agitated the sleeve and the feathers within the puffer jacket um, insulation levels and made everything a lot even and there's hardly any clumps. So I um, am going to actually put these back into the dryer for a little bit longer. I'm going to deliberately place some of the balls inside just to give it a little bit more. Because remember, these are feathers. They're really absorbent to a lot of moisture. That's a natural, um, it's a natural material, of course. So um, we just have to gently get everything back into shape again. But I'm really happy with how it looks. It's looking pretty good. I'm just giving it a little bit more. That's it. I'm just 
going to do one at a time now so I can really maximize those balls and to shake everything up. Still on a low heat setting. jacket here everything is fairly even there's still a couple of little clumps if you like maybe you can you can't even really see them it's pretty good but there is still a couple of little clumps because of course feathers um, are a natural fiber they're very um, able to hold a lot of moisture and it's going to take a little bit more drying here's a little bit of a clump here I'm not too sure but I can feel it with my fingers and I'm just I'm just going around separating everything, agitating it. But when I put this one back into the dryer um, after I've finished with my pink one, then it'll be fine. It'll just be like new again. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with how these turned out. They totally worth the effort. It wasn't a difficult job. It didn't take much effort really at all, but they look fantastic and they would be lovely to have them really nice and clean. But job well done, I reckon. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this product. And it'll be nice to have these jackets clean and ready to go for our following winter season. Thank you for watching.